Ever wondered how important natural resources are to our daily lives? Imagine a world without electricity, running water, or even the air we breathe. It's a little hard to picture, isn't it? This is because these elements, and many more, are all natural resources that we use every day, often without even realizing it. Now, let's dive a little deeper. Natural resources can be broadly classified into three types, renewable, non-renewable, and flow resources. Renewable resources are those that can be replaced or regenerated naturally over time. This includes things like trees, soil, and natural fish stocks. When we cut down a tree for lumber, given time, another tree can grow in its place to provide more wood for future use. On the other hand, non-renewable resources are those that don't naturally replenish within a human time frame. Once we've used them up, they're gone for good. Fossil fuels and metallic minerals fall into this category. These resources provide us with energy and materials, but they're finite, and we need to be mindful of how we use them. Then we have flow resources. These are neither renewable nor non-renewable, but they are continuously available, regardless of human activity. Solar energy, wind, running water, ocean currents and tides fall into this category. They're always there, flowing around us, waiting to be harnessed for our benefit. These resources all play a crucial role in our lives. They're the building blocks of our world, and they're intimately tied to Earth's physical features. From the forests that provide us with timber to the rivers that give us water, every aspect of our natural environment serves a purpose. But here's the thing. How we use these resources can have significant effects, both on people and on the environment. It's a delicate balance, and one that we need to maintain if we want to continue enjoying the benefits these resources provide. Understanding these resources helps us appreciate the world we live in and how we can protect it. So let's embark on this journey together, as we delve into the fascinating world of natural resources. Imagine a resource that never runs out, sounds like magic, right? Yet this isn't conjuring tricks, but Mother Nature's own form of wizardry. We're talking about renewable resources. These are the gifts from our planet that, with careful management, can be replenished almost as quickly as we use them. Let's start with trees. Picture a forest. Each tree, a towering testament to nature's bounty, is a renewable resource. The relationship between trees and Earth's physical features is a fascinating one. Trees with their deep roots help prevent soil erosion, maintain groundwater levels, and even influence local climates. And how do we use them? Well, trees provide us with timber for buildings, wood for furniture, and pulp for paper. They're also a source of fuel and a home for countless species. Next, think about the seas teeming with fish. Natural fish stocks are another example of renewable resources. Fish live, reproduce, and die in a cycle that, if managed properly, can provide a never-ending supply of seafood. But it's not just about our fish and chips. Fish play a vital role in the planet's ecosystem, supporting other marine life and contributing to the health of our oceans. Then there's soil, a silent hero. Soil formation is a slow process, but with sustainable practices, it can be preserved and renewed. It's more than just dirt. It's the foundation of our food system. It's where our fruits, vegetables, and grains begin their journey to our plates. Lastly, plants. From the grass under our feet to the most exotic bloom, plants are renewable resources that beautify our world and provide food, medicine, and materials for countless products. They're essential to life on Earth, playing a key role in the carbon cycle and providing habitats for many species. So you see, renewable resources aren't magic, but they are miraculous. They're the grand cycle of life, death and rebirth playing out in our forests, our oceans, our fields and our skies. And they're a reminder that if we take care, we can continue to reap nature's bounty without depleting it. Renewable resources are a gift from nature that keeps on giving. What if I told you some of the things we use every day won't last forever? Just like a finite treasure chest, once we've taken all the jewels out, there's nothing left. This is exactly the case with non-renewable resources. Non-renewable resources are those that don't naturally replenish within a human lifetime. Think of them as one-time gifts from nature, such as fossil fuels like coal, oil and natural gas, and metallic minerals like iron, copper and gold. These resources have been formed over millions, even billions of years through geological processes. Once we've extracted and used them, they're gone for good. Now let's talk about how we use these non-renewable resources. Fossil fuels are primarily used for energy. 
They power our vehicles, heat our homes, and generate electricity for our cities. Metallic minerals, on the other hand, are integral to almost everything we use. Your smartphone, for instance, contains over 60 different types of metals. From the iron in our buildings to the gold in our jewelry, these minerals are everywhere. But what happens when these resources run out? The consequences of depletion are far-reaching and can be quite severe. As supplies dwindle, extraction becomes more difficult and expensive, leading to increased costs for consumers. This can spark economic instability and even conflict over remaining resources. Additionally, the extraction and use of non-renewable resources also have significant environmental impacts. The burning of fossil fuels, for example, is a major contributor to climate change. Mining for metallic minerals can lead to soil erosion, water contamination, and habitat destruction. Yet it's not all doom and gloom. Recognizing these challenges is the first step towards addressing them. We're seeing increased investment in renewable energy sources, as well as innovations in recycling and material efficiency. Non-renewable resources are a treasure we need to use wisely. Just as you wouldn't squander a treasure chest full of jewels, we need to be mindful about how we use these precious resources. After all, they've taken millions of years to form, but only seconds to consume. Can you think of something that never stops flowing? Our world is filled with natural wonders that are in constant motion, providing us with an endless source of power. These are called flow resources. They're the unstoppable forces of nature that, when harnessed correctly, can generate an incredible amount of energy. Imagine the sun that rises every morning, bathing the world in its warm rays. This is solar power, a renewable source of energy that doesn't deplete over time. Solar panels capture these rays and convert them into electricity, powering everything from homes to electric cars. It's a clean, renewable source of energy that helps reduce our reliance on fossil fuels. Then there's the running water, flowing in rivers and streams, cascading down waterfalls and churning in the ocean's waves. This kinetic energy can be harnessed through hydroelectric power stations to generate electricity. It's a constant and reliable source of power that has been used for centuries. Now, consider the vast ocean currents, the tides that ebb and flow with the moon's phases. This is tidal energy, a form of hydropower that converts the energy obtained from tides into useful forms of power, mainly electricity. And let's not forget the wind blowing across the plains, whistling through the mountains and sweeping across the sea. Wind turbines capture this energy, spinning their blades to generate power. It's an incredible sight to see fields of these turbines, all harnessing the unstoppable force of the wind. Each of these flow resources has its own unique advantages. They are renewable, meaning they won't run out. They are also sustainable, causing less harm to the environment compared to traditional forms of energy production. By harnessing these resources, we can reduce our impact on the environment and move towards a more sustainable future. Flow resources are the unstoppable force of nature that powers our world. Let's continue to harness their power and work towards a sustainable future for all. Have you ever thought about the price our planet pays for our use of its resources? It's quite a thought to ponder, isn't it? Our daily lives are intertwined with the resources we extract from the Earth. But this extraction comes with a cost that's more than just monetary. Let's look at deforestation, for instance. When we cut down trees for timber or clear forests for agriculture, we're not just removing a tree, we're disrupting an entire ecosystem. Animals lose their homes and the soil can erode without tree roots to hold it in place. Plus, trees absorb carbon dioxide, so when they're gone, more of this greenhouse gas stays in our atmosphere, contributing to climate change. Then there's desertification. This is when fertile land becomes desert, often due to things like deforestation, overgrazing, and unsustainable farming practices. As the land dries up, it becomes less productive, meaning fewer crops can grow there, which can lead to food shortages. We also have to consider air pollution. Burning fossil fuels releases smog into the air, which can cause respiratory problems in people and harm wildlife. It also contributes to acid rain, which can damage forests and bodies of water. Climate change is another big one. The burning of fossil fuels releases greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, which trap heat and lead to a warming planet. This can cause more frequent and intense heat waves, storms and sea level rise, among other effects. Finally, there's soil contamination. This can happen through the use of harmful chemicals in farming or the spillage of hazardous materials like oil. 
Contaminated soil can be harmful to plants, animals, and even humans if the toxins enter our food chain. All these issues are interconnected, and they all stem from how we use our planet's resources. It's a complex web of cause and effect that we're only beginning to fully understand. Yet, it's not all doom and gloom. We have the power to change our practices, to extract and use resources in a way that minimizes these impacts. It's a challenge, but one we're more than capable of meeting. Our actions have consequences, and it's our duty to minimize the negative impact. How we see the world and its resources can depend on who we are and where we come from. Imagine you're part of a traditional indigenous community. You've been living in harmony with the land for generations. The trees, the rivers, the animals. They're not just resources, they're sacred parts of your culture. You use what you need, but always with respect and gratitude. For you, the land isn't something to be exploited, but to be cherished and protected. Now, let's change the lens. Picture being part of an environmental organization. You're fighting to protect our planet, advocating for sustainable practices and policies. You see natural resources as shared wealth, something we all benefit from and therefore should take care of. Overuse and misuse are the enemies you battle against daily. Now suppose you're an executive at a multinational mining or forestry company. Your perspective is different yet again. Sure, you understand the importance of sustainability, but you also have jobs to provide and products to deliver. For you, it's all about finding that balance between economic growth and environmental responsibility. Finally, imagine being a resident of a resource town. Your livelihood depends on the extraction of natural resources. You understand the environmental implications, but without these industries, your community wouldn't survive. It's a complex issue, isn't it? Same resources, different perspectives. Each viewpoint is valid in its own right, shaped by unique experiences and circumstances. But it's not about who's right or wrong. It's about understanding these differing perspectives and finding a way to reconcile them for the greater good. Because at the end of the day, we're all inhabitants of this beautiful planet, aren't we? And we all want what's best for it. We just have different ideas about what that looks like and how to get there. That's why dialogue and collaboration are so crucial. Different perspectives enrich our understanding and help us find balanced solutions. Faced with challenges, humans have a knack for finding innovative solutions. This is particularly true when it comes to responding to the social and environmental challenges posed by our use of natural resources. When push comes to shove, we can be remarkably creative and resourceful in finding sustainable alternatives. One of the key strategies is increasing the use of renewable energy sources. Instead of relying on finite, non-renewable resources like fossil fuels that contribute to climate change, we're harnessing the power of the sun, the wind, and the tides. Solar panels, wind turbines, and tidal energy converters are popping up everywhere, helping to reduce our carbon footprint and preserve our precious resources. Another crucial approach is reducing our consumption altogether. This doesn't necessarily mean living without the things we need or love. Rather, it's about making smarter, more conscious decisions. It's about choosing a reusable water bottle over a single-use plastic one, walking or cycling instead of driving when possible, or even turning off the lights when we're not in a room. These small changes, collectively, can make a big difference. Promotion of fair trade is another important response to these challenges. By supporting companies that pay fair wages and use sustainable practices, we help to create a more equitable and environmentally friendly world. Boycotting less sustainable products or companies using unsustainable practices can also be a powerful tool in influencing change. We're also seeing the marketing of ethical products such as ethical oil or ethical diamonds. These are products that are sourced and produced in a way that minimizes harm to the environment and respects the rights of workers. While this approach is not without its controversies, it represents a growing awareness and concern for the impact of our consumption habits. In the face of these challenges, we're not just standing by, we're taking action, finding solutions, and making changes. It's a collective effort, one that requires the participation of everyone, governments, businesses, communities, and individuals alike. With creativity and commitment, we can pave the way to a sustainable future. So, what can we do to help our planet? Well, it starts with each one of us. You see, every day we use natural resources, from the wood in our pencils to the fuel in our cars. But we can make choices that help to sustain these resources. 
Maybe it's as simple as turning off the lights when we leave a room, to save energy, or choosing to walk or cycle instead of always using the car, reducing our reliance on fossil fuels. Perhaps it's about recycling more, reducing our waste, and reusing what we can. And it's not just about what we do, but what we learn. By understanding more about our planet and its resources, we can make informed choices. We can share our knowledge, sparking conversations and inspiring others to act. Remember, every small change can add up to a big difference. So let's be the change we want to see in the world. Together we can make a difference for our planet.